Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Russian Fishing 4 and today we are going to do some fishing. We unlocked a new lake, Warning River. That is where I am. If we check the map, I just purchased it. Here we go, it's a river, no doubt about that. Excuse me, I had to mute myself for a second for a sneeze. But here we are. So here we got the village done, we have the river going like that, we have a small subsection and in the uh, video earlier that I made about learning a lake, learning a new lake, we discovered that in this section there is no current. So that is awesome. Now if you check on the leaderboard, we already saw that there is fish out there that currently are way above what we can handle. 3.7 kilogram bream, 7 kilogram burbot, 20 kilogram catfish, 5 kilogram chop, 9 kilogram common carp. So those are all fish that we need to try to avoid. Now there's also fish that we can go and target. So uh, rough, obviously, uh, pretty easy. Silver bream, so that's blood worms, uh, pearl barley, regular worms, and wheat seeds. Uh, Tench, uh, he, the Tench would be on a uh, risky level. Uh, our gear currently is uh, Halistic, 4.5 kilogram. We have, oh, 2.3 kilogram line on that one. We need to fix that. And uh, let's see what is the line that we got on this one uh, 3.1. So that is the first thing that we are going to do get ourselves some better lines so at least we can handle those. Uh, Two to three kilogram fish. Let's check here. Not gonna do anything fancy. You can see that these are uh, pricey as they are. Three point nine kilogram. There we go. Let's grab two of those. Three forty uh, and then let's get ourselves some bait. We want maggots one time and let's get one time blood worms as well. And just regular worms and uh, dough will make that. Get rid of that. Let's put the 3.9 on it. There we go. Now at least we can target those. Uh, we going have 3 kilogram fish on this one. 3.1. Let's get rid of that. Let's put the, that one on. And then let's check our bamboo. 4 kilograms. So on this one. We are going to put on the... Let's do this one. The one that we used earlier. On this one I'm going to put on bread, still have enough of those. And on this one we'll keep the maggots, no actually we're going to put blood worms on this. There we go, and then on this one we'll stick with the maggots, okay. And finally I need some food. Um, I've got to eat before I went to uh, this new lake and unfortunately and there is no such thing as a free food truck here got to purchase some food let's see good grief bread is out of stock ah that i did not count on uh let's get two of those done there we go and uh, let's and we need booze alcohol uh don't want the wine uh, we can drink twice from that but that is one pretty something i'll just grab a bunch of these one two three four there we go okay so let's see what we can get first uh first let's see what we can get from the river itself now here we are working with a current currently we only got three fixed poles so my uh, next project is that we are going to get ourselves a feeder because with a feeder we can generate more money and we do not have to look after it um and after that we'll move on to spinning but for now let's get these in so this is my one of the first places I'd like to fish we got some weeds and reeds and lily pads and from doing this earlier I knew that if I set a leader to 
52, 53. Well, what will actually happen is that it will touch the bottom and the current will not take it. Uh, that's a bit too much. Bottom, yes, it's float, no. You don't need the float to be upright. A little bit more, say forty. There we go, touching bottom. But it is styling still now. I'll grab the other one. This one was oh, that's actually the one with maggots. I need to swap those around. Here we got the black worms, and we'll be doing the exact same thing, but a little bit further. And the current is taking it. And the current, look at that, just 10 centimeters below it. But the current is taking it, and we already got some action on the other one. And we got some action on this one too. I could actually see the fish uh, popping up. Yo, that's our first one. Hello, common roach. And uh, that one is going. And we missed it on that one, okay. And let's cast that one out again. And he's gonna stand up. There we go, touching bottom. Drifting rift curtain, no, I'd like you to be bottom. Come on, oop, oh, that is way too much. A bit like that, and we'll grab our third one. Here we got maggots on this one. We are going to let the current take it. Gonna cast that that one a bit further. Let's see what it comes up with. We do need to angle this rod. Last current is taking it. Ooh, ooh, a hey, tiny chap, and we got something on the other one. we have here? A perch! Awesome! And how is this one doing? Ugh. Uh, no fish on. Okay. Oh, we have the big buck. <laughs> okay. Some more line on it than I'd expected. And here we go. Let's, before we do anything else, drink a bit. Let's eat a bit. There we go. The first free fish in. Wow, he's running off. Yeah, he did run off. <laughs> wow. Little perch. Now, if you find it too much of a hassle, 
having to deal with three floats than just stick with two. Two will be fine. And again, uh, let's see. Now, this is the reason why they're getting off. I'm using Express Fishing Stinger Originals. And they are actually not that good. So we also need to save up money. Getting ourselves a one on one hook or two on one hook. A one on one hook has a, a barb on the shank, an extra barb on it. And that will help us most definitely. Hello, little chap. In keeping those fish on the hook instead of just falling off like they're doing right now with these uh, very cheap hooks. And we still have some fish that get off the hook with one on ones and two on one hooks. But for now, it's uh, it's better than what we are currently fishing with. And there we go, 500 grams, awesome. And our float fishing is going from getting very close to 15%, which is awesome. And this definitely pays out. Got some activity on this one. I must say, I'm actually glad the other two are not giving that much of activity, though. This one is going. Ah! He got off. Oh well. Nothing we can do about that. Now he's a bit too close. And he's going again. Oh! That one. But at least this is. Uh, if you were to use all three and have them drift by the current, then you would be way in over your hat. But at least this. Uh, this helps you out a bit when you start float fishing here. And I must say, chips pay you some good money as well. Especially like that 500 that we just got. Uh, that one. And on our second lot we have a perch. That's fiddling around with it. That's typical perch behavior what he does there. <laughs> Back and forth. Bit of aggression. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah. It's the perch. Thank you. Oh, we got one on the other one. Oh, no, he let go. That's a bit hard for me to see, boy. Better. That is pretty nice. sunshine. If we had a spinning rock we would definitely go off to park right now. However it seems that starting to hit a bit less activity. Let's see.
Only on the brat. Let's take this one out. Alright, there we go. There we got two of them. There goes our bamboo. Oh, we missed that one. Now we got this one. Take it. On fish like those blood worms. There we go. And a gudgeon! 62 grams! That's actually pretty big for a river gudgeon or river gobiat. That is nice. We are going to keep you. Awesome. Okay, let's move on while there's still full sun and not night time yet. Because there's another fish species that I absolutely adore to target, one of my favorite species. And you do not need to be a high level. I hope I can catch them here. Because it's been a while since I caught anything. Uh, first one, we're going to set to 17 centimeters. We're going to cast out. Uh, not that far, so a bit too far. Let's cast this one out here. I'm only gonna do this with two rods because uh, if I'm lucky, we'll be swamped. That one with blood worms, and this one we're gonna leave at 30 centimeters. And I'm gonna cast that a little bit further out, like right there. The one in the back is gonna go faster than the one in the front, but I do hope that. Uh, Going to catch yourself some leaker too, because they give you a massive experience and they are also giving you a massive money. Uh, ooh, wrong. Uh, however, you do need to constantly be moving around with your rods, because, well, with fixed balls, not much. Only so much line that they can take, that the river can take, with the current. What runs out, so it's uh, constantly got to angle it. Ooh, hello, what do we have here? Is that a chubber? Yes. I was saying on an incline, so it's very good to have yourself a landing net. Ooh, look at that, one kilogram, close to one kilogram. Awesome. Not uh, the fish pieces that I was after, but I will definitely take that one. Uh, and you are a bit too... So here over there. And, oh, again. The wrong button. Number two and three only. Yeah. That one I went too far astray. Pass it uh, back out again. There, and an angle on the rock, like so. Ooh, that was a little speedy. Go. You can see that the more in the center of the river you come, the faster the current is. Stick close to the bank. Running out of light. Sweet oh, lady, come on. This one's running out of light, so we're gonna retrieve that. Light here again. Let's grab the other one. Let's recast this one.
this one quickly. But yeah. And hello, this is no bleak. Way too much tension and light. He's a nice little perch. Seems the bleak is not active, at least not on this spot right now. But that means you either got to hunt for them or we start targeting different fish. Leather. Because we are getting closer to. Dusk uh, setting in, and then is when I like to go off the carp. Yep, yeah, let's get this one. Yeah, this one. Nope. Oh, for now, at least eleven fish on this one. We're gonna move to behind that wall of sand. Funny rise. Cause there we have no current and uh, it's great thick carp. Uh, some good tench over there as well. Lately I've been catching bleak there too, so that would be awesome if we uh Get ourselves a couple of that. Here. And then over here, so we have the swampy area. Oh, frogs are active. Plan of it. Okay, first this one. Let's set this one to 27. Put out pretty close. Here we go. Let's grab the other one. Uh, and these are like both of them to be on maggots. Uh, I forgot to check the depth. Well, let's do that. Uh, 30 and a bit close by. Yeah. And on this one. I'll put on. 50 and a bit further out. So, let's see if we can get anything on in this spot. Backing away a little bit. I'm um, not disturbing the water. Disturbing water can actually scare off fish. So, let's not do that. Something I was interested. Doing tiny tucks. Moved a bit to the right a couple of seconds ago. Yes. And we miss them. Cheap hooks. Ooh. Won't take long before you start cursing at those. Because you lost the fish over it.
Lost this one a bit. Some attention. Hey, Gibble Cop. Hey, tiny one. Take you. You need to drink. I noticed that we ran out of the tipsy experience. It's just a little bonus XP that you get for drinking alcohol, um, but do not drink too much. You get drunk and then it doesn't matter what you eat or drink, you run out of energy. Ooh, do, 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 do. Hey, not a gable, awesome. Yeah, if you're drunk, the only way to solve it and get your energy back and your food back and the bars is to eat sour cream. And sour cream you can only purchase at Kaori, which is a level 16. So if you get drunk before you're level 16, you've got to ask one of your buddies to help you out. And if not, then, uh, yeah. Then you'll find yourself in a bit of a pickle. Ugh, don't do that, lady. There he goes. Oh, come on. Ooh. Big. -y. Hello, Tench. Yes, there we go. 759 grams. Awesome. 289 XP. And we got a bit of the tipsy bonus, and our float is increased. <gasps> ah. And we got a big buck. You big book. But that is a good catch. Giving us some decent XP and he's gonna pay us some good money as well. That's always nice. Oh no. Two of them. Oh, and I got a bit of luck as well. I just noticed. Apparently for when we drank the beer. Hello, Crucian. Oh, come on. Wait back, you're annoying. Oh, wait. Little bamboo goes. Come on, take it. Not taking it yet. Not properly. Oh wow. Setting off fireworks outside. Come on. Wow, he's really fiddling with it. That one's gonna go as well. I bet they both go at the exact same time. Oh, he's going first. Good. One roach. This one. I guess for now it's because he's doing this and then a bit look doing it a bit like a couple to the left, couple to the right. 
this one is a tench. Common cop, you'll see that they typically do a V shape. So one time left, one time right. And he's doing it multiple times to the left and multiple times to the right. The tension of having to wait until the fish finally decides to take a proper bite. And rot number three has some tension too. That one was just doing straight tucks down. Don't think that that is a tench. That's more like a common roach. Or one of uh, uh, Gibble or Crucian Carp. Going. And what do we have here? Yeah, common roach. And this one's still making up his mind. And on the bamboo, now we got some action too. Oh, he got off. Come on, fish. Goes. Yep. Ah, there we go. Awesome. Two hundred twenty-three XP. A little over half a kilo of tench. That is awesome. Let's see. Yeah, the movie is now thirty-three minutes long. So let's get these out of the water. Let's sell our. Is it eighteen fish? Eighteen fish. Getting close to a level seven and a half, which is awesome. Let's see. I'm curious about that. Close to a kilogram chub. I'm curious about that. Close to a kilogram tench. And I'm very curious about how much that gutchen is going to make us because I believe showed that he had extra XP if he were to release it, meaning that he is a uh, good sized fish for his specimen. Like the big brother. I've got no clue how much that one's going to make us. Let's have a look. Uh, you guys also notice some some purple, pink things. Uh, it's glitches actually. We'll fix it with the next patch. And here we go. Uh, oh, only three cents. Wow, <laughs> I did not expect that. I expected them to be a bit more. Okay. But yeah, 17 cents for that one, 17 cents for that one, uh, 44 cents for that roach, 60 cents for the perch, 144 for close to a kilogram, and 147 for that one. So let's select all 488. Not as much as I had hoped, but hey, uh, we did get some uh, some good fish, so I'm uh, I'm happy. And we'll do some more fishing later on. Uh, for now though, I'd like to thank all of you for watching uh, this uh, Let's Play video. We leveled from level 7 to close to level 7.5. Uh, let's say we're, we're... what's that? Two-fifths of the reaching on level 8. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Uh, do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe, and if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also, do not forget to visit the forums, our 4 gamecom slash forum. And if you watch to uh, see me play Russian Fishing live, I'm uh, streaming on Twitch 
on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday, 8pm GMT plus 1. You can go there to twitch.tv slash ladyofgames where the O in ORF is a zero. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video again of Russian Fishing 4. Bye bye!